Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Oh my god, what did they do to my Carrick? I've never actually done a video on the Carrick, and I can't think of a better time to do one. Even if you didn't buy this ship on concept, or at concept price, I feel this is going to end up being one of the more popular ships in the verse. As I said in a recent video, there's just something irresistible and universal about the idea of owning your own Enterprise. Regardless, even at its new price of $400 US, I think it's a lot of pixel for your dollar. The size increase was driven by the requirements of the interior. It seems that the new way to approach the pipeline is to have a good idea about what the ship is going to look like, sell it on concept, block out the interior, and then scale the exterior to fit it. This happened to the Starfare, it happened to the Reclaimer, and now the Carrick. The size boost isn't just for metrics. They specifically said that they used an extra 2 meters between rooms so they could slant the angles in the walls. In my opinion, as a Carrick lover and a Carrick owner, I say bring it on. Let's now take a look at the updated stats and the ship's original mission statement. Even on concept, this ship was incredibly cool. At the time, we'd only seen art for the Javelin and the Iteris, and they weren't actually blocked out yet. Anyone who had an Aquila and loved it, dropped it like a bad habit when the Carrick came out. A specialized computer system for tracking complex navigations. Arms to assist navigating unplotted jump points safely. Drones for those that were too risky to plot with the Carrick. A hangar bay. A rover bay. Modular potential. Medical. Workshop. Man this concept struck every single chord and the Connie was gone. It's been the only ship that I've never melted since concept. Being a military exploration ship, it's made by Anvil, we know it's going to have thick hull and good protection. No missiles and 100% of its firepower comes from four turrets. Three of them are manned and one is remote. There were many posts since the original concept that the turrets don't interlock very well, leaving a blind spot. But there's one thing that people had never considered. Running carracks in pairs with escorts. You can fly casual with your friends, and when things go pear-shaped, all you need to do is go belly to belly, send the escorts out, and you're fine. The reality is the entire point of an MMO is to have fun with your friends. After today, I'm pretty sure my orc fleet pool has gotten a couple more characters than before. Looking at the hangar, there seems to be a nice wide buffer space around the P-72. Not much in the way of vertical clearance, so I'm interested to see if the floor sinks down a little bit further, or if it's just really a tight squeeze when the doors close. I really love how the corridors to the side turrets are just huge. It really puts the size into perspective. The three modules each would be perfect just as cargo, but just like the Caterpillar, the plan is to offer modules in the future that really dial in your gameplay. I'm going to close out with a fun fact. Throughout the segment, developers refer to the Carrick as a capital ship. I can't even tell you how excited I am for this ship. Please post your thoughts in the comments section of this video. Thank you very much for the recent support to the channel. Fly safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the verse.